Hey everybody, we are so glad you are with us online and uh, we're just honored to be with you. We have some of our staff and some of our family and friends here with us this Thanksgiving Eve. This has become a great service for us. You guys know that through the years I was thinking about the rock, I got my rock. We have done this because of Mark Ogle. He had this idea. (laughs) One time, one time you guys, I was talking about the scripture that talks about the rock, Jesus Mm -hmm. being the rock of our thanksgiving. And uh, Mo went out and bought rocks for us. I thought he got them out of a creek bed, but anyway, (laughs) he probably gets tired of me telling that story. (laughs) Picture him praying and (laughs) he just went to the store and bought a big bag of rocks. (laughs) But nevertheless, the meaning is symbolic. And for years we've given out... So Sunday at church, we'll have rocks for all of you. Mm -hmm. And I can't wait for us to get back to our midweek services. They're going to be so awesome. And we will have the rocks for you. It's going to be great. With this being Thanksgiving, my only regret is that we're not all together in person. I wish our family room and dining room was big enough for all of you to be here with us. But we're bringing the dining room to you via online. And we're going to talk here in just a few minutes about gratitude and thanksgiving. The the scripture that I'm thinking of, and I have to put these on, I'm thankful for these so that I can (laughs) read to you. (laughs) But the scripture that I want to read to you, it's one of my favorite Mm -hmm. verses, is Philippians chapter 4, verse Mm 6, that says this. It's been hard this year, I'll be honest with you, with this 2020 being the kind of crazy year that it's been. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, uh, the scripture says, do not be anxious about anything. Amen. Really? You know, yeah. God, yeah. God, God calls yeah. us to, and, and, and really it's a command. It's not even optional. Yeah, sure. Right. Don't be anxious about every anything, but in every situation, Amen. by prayer yeah. and by petition, yeah. with thanksgiving, I love yeah. this part, yeah. present your request to God. And so the promise is this, when you do that, the peace of God, which transcends natural understanding, will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Mm -hmm. Jesus. So I know it's been crazy. Mm -hmm. The battle is always in the mind. And the way around it is to be grateful and to be thankful. That requires intentionality. Mm -hmm. And so we're doing that. Right now at Thanksgiving, this Wednesday night service that we're with you, and uh, boy, our praise and worship was just so incredible. I'm so thankful for for our team, and you guys experienced that too. Holy Spirit came in, and uh, even our sound guy was touched by the Lord, (laughs) which is rare. (laughs) I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. I, I only pick on people I really love. Lonnie. <laughs> no, the Lord was yes. here with yeah. us, and yeah. you sense that. Yeah. And I believe that the Lord is there with mm-hmm. you right now. Yeah. So I don't want to hog all this, but I just want to share. I'll get to start off, and then Pastor Lark can jump in here with me too. But we were talking about our staff, our team yeah. of leaders that we have. The, the team of leaders mm-hmm. is growing right now. Mm-hmm. God is doing some incredible things. Yeah. But we wouldn't be who we are without you guys. Um, sometimes mm-hmm. the spotlight's on us, but it's you guys that make yes. us anything. And we are so grateful for each and every one of mm-hmm. you individually. Yes, You guys mean everything to us. And um, words, these words coming out of my mouth, mm-hmm. fall so short of expressing how much we love you all. You're so special to us. The Lord's been visiting us. Yes. He's been visiting us. And uh, the Lord spoke to us that 2020 was going to be a blue ribbon year. Yes. And in the natural, it doesn't look like that, but I'm looking beyond the natural into the spiritual. And you can see that this has become the catalyst for a blue ribbon year. Great things. I think what we're going to be able to do is we're going to be able to look back from 2021 and beyond and look Mm -hmm. back and say, what a weird year. (laughs) It was was the year that was weird, but it was the year that God took us to the next level. 
Amen. So Amen. what I'm going to do, and I want to encourage you guys to do this at home. What I'm going to do, I'm going to start with my bride and ask her to share what she's thankful for. And then we're going to just talk and you guys can interrupt each other and, yeah. you know, we can laugh, we can cry, but we want to talk about what we're grateful for and thankful for. Yes. Okay. So I pondered this. I was thinking about, um, you know, what I'm thankful for. And there's just Coffee. so, yes. <laughs> especially tonight because yeah. I needed that. Um, but I think for me, you know, when I was younger, the things that I was grateful for, it really has changed. Mm -hmm. You know, me, me getting older, and the older you get, the better perspective I think you have yeah. in life because you've lived a while. And so what I'm so very grateful for is one, um, of course, we're going to say this is our relationship, my relationship with the Lord and the deepness that has come from this year. You know, this year has been very difficult for, I think, most every human being on the planet. Mm -hmm. um, but for me, what it has caused, I'm so very grateful for the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. and his, my relationship with Him, my family, my children, my church family, and just the depth of that relationship. I was talking to Charnette earlier, and we were discussing how sometimes when you're younger, you know, you always feel like, you know, you have forever, and we do in Christ... But when it comes to family, you know, oh, you know, they're always going to be there. But when you start losing loved ones, mm -hmm. and I was sharing with Charnette that, you know, I remember when my father was dying, saying things to him of gratefulness of what he meant to me, um, you know, and I always loved my dad and I would say, I love you, dad. But the, the depth of my words and gratitude because he was going to the other side. I, and I said to her, why don't we do that all the time? Mm -hmm. Why don't we share with our loved ones the depth of our love and our gratitude? Because mm -hmm. that moment was gone. And it's like, I wish I would have said that to him all the time. Yeah. But it was yeah, just yeah. on his death. But anyway, I'm grateful for the people in my life and the Holy Spirit that has yeah. just been enriching and strengthening me. Yes. Yeah. So, Amen. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with that completely. Um, you know, I'm so thankful for the relationships I have in my life and I hate crying. I don't want to cry. <laughs> but, cry, Joe. Cry. You know, <laughs> the, uh, the older I get, the more I cherish them. Yeah. And, yeah. and you know, it doesn't matter how much money or anything. Yeah. You have in life. Yeah. It's about who you live with. Yeah. 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 Who you do life with. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Grateful yeah. for that new baby. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I'll say for me, I'm grateful, and I don't want to sound cliche, it's about cliche but I'm grateful for my family. Yes. I'm grateful for this year. Yeah. And I know people are like, what? Yeah. <laughs> but it could have been... So, so much worse. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm right. saying? Does, right. does that make sense? Yep. Yeah. Like yeah. we, we right. forget to be grateful for the little things, yeah. the yeah. little yeah. things that you can still lay your head down. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. You know, you got a yeah. pillow, you got a cover, you got a mm -hmm. car, you know, I'm grateful right. for that. I've been grateful for my family or for this year. Um, because this COVID thing has, it's made me yeah. slow down. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's made me right. slow down. We've had this conversation <laughs> oh, <laughs> all the time, you know, yeah. yelling across the hall from the office, whatever. Yeah. But it has made me slow down and recognize, yeah. right. you know, I was, you know, you, when yeah. you're in it, you don't realize how much yeah. you're going and yeah. moving yeah. and stuff like that. Until you can't. Until, exactly. Yeah. Right. Exactly. So getting a chance to slow down, to acknowledge stuff that my, you know, my wife and my children are doing mm -hmm. and to embrace that and create memories. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's been, mm -hmm. you know, that's what I'm grateful for. Mm -hmm. And I'm grateful for all y'all, too. Yeah. Yeah. All y'all. <laughs> yeah, I was grateful for an office to go to. Yeah. Right. You know, every yeah. day. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I was grateful we didn't have to shut down, you know, our offices yeah. and things. And I did have a place to go that made it continue to seem normal. Yes. Yeah. Right. You know, you needed some normal, yes. whatever right. that looks like mm -hmm. now. It's yeah. different, right. you yeah. know, from what right. it was. But, you know, we've been blessed this year with expanding our family. We've got a new daughter-in-law. Yeah. And now we've got a new grandbaby. Yeah. Anybody want to see a picture? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so many new babies. We I have mean, a literally. Of new baby. yeah. How many yeah. new babies? Yeah. 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 Like in, in our yeah. church. Yeah. 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 yeah, we're going to grow this church one way. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
to touch on all of the babies as a mom and Lily, please touch on this. If you went through yeah. this, having a baby mm. right in the middle of all of this, yeah. right in the middle of 2020. Wow. I yeah. remember it was, I hadn't had Owen yet and I was crying out to God, God, I've been waiting for this baby for nine months. Mm -hmm. Why do I have to deliver and have him come into this world right yeah. now? Why does this have to happen? Yeah. And it was, it was one song that kept repeating over and over in my head, and it was the blessing. Mm -hmm. And it was the line that said, um, favor on, on your children and their children. Yes. And their children. yes. That's the reason why I Owen needed to be born in this yeah. moment. Come on. Because yeah. it's not just he's my blessing. It's yes. his children and mm -hmm. their children Come and on. their children. Yeah. And right. that's what I had to hang on to yes. to make 2020 the Blue Ribbon Year. Yes. 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 Right. Absolutely. Amen. 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 All that. Yeah. I was just going to say, you know, in addition to what Teresa said, just being able to come um, to a place to be able to work. Yeah. Not mm -hmm. only just work, you know, it's not just work for us, right. but we are able to just give and pour into so many people. Right. Mm -hmm. And at the beginning of this, when everything was shutting down and all the businesses were closing and we had to close our doors for a while, this team was like, we need to do this. We're going to do yeah. this because yeah. there are people yes. out there who Definitely. still need encouragement, yeah. Yeah. people who still need hope. Yeah. And and it was so wonderful to see everybody just step up. And and it was really like God had a wind behind our backs and yes. just saying, go ahead, right. yeah. keep going, keep, keep going. going. I've yeah. got yeah. you guys every step of the yeah. way. Yeah. Um, everybody was so willing to just step up, step out, do something different to just right. make sure that we could continue to do what we um get to do what we are called to do, but mm -hmm. do it even better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do it with even more passion mm -hmm. and, and excitement and joy in our hearts. So yeah. that is something that amidst all of the everything mm -hmm. yeah. that I am so grateful for yes. to see everybody just like mm -hmm. ready, ready yeah. to go. In yeah. some ways we worked harder oh, yeah. than we've ever yeah. worked before, <laughs> but you said it right. We had the wind behind oh, us. Yeah. The Holy yes. Spirit was yeah. with Holy us. Spirit. And yeah. I, yeah. as the pastor, I have never been so thankful and proud of our team coming together. Yeah. Wow. What a blessing. Wow. And I could go around the room and then I could go into the room where you're at, all of you guys, and yeah. say the same thing. Yeah. 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 I think it's amazing how, like, you know, God placed us in a, at a point where even in the midst of that, we were already doing what we needed to do yeah. as far as ministry mm -hmm. out online and everything like that. Mm -hmm. We just stepped it up to the next level, but yeah. it was like God knew to prepare us as yes. a church right. yes. to push yeah. forward and to be able to bring hope to people, right. you know, people yeah. who yeah. have never even went to church before right. or tuning in, you know, and yeah. different things like that. So I just love how God just knows exactly where we are Absolutely. and what we need to do Absolutely. in that moment. So. There were many right. churches, um, you know, that unfortunately, did not have an online right. presence right. before yeah. COVID hit. Yeah. And many of them had to close their doors yeah. and keep their doors closed. Yeah. And that is heartbreaking for anybody yeah. who loves the Lord and yeah. anybody who yeah. wants to see people touched yeah. by the love of Christ. And yeah. and like you said, just God really prepared a way, you know, we, he knew that this was coming and we were just like, yeah, this would, it would be wonderful to have an online presence, but we didn't know this was coming and we already right. were prepared right. to meet people um, and welcome them yeah. still yeah. amidst, you know, this, yes. this whole pandemic. Right. Right. As you were talking, I was thinking we were able to be the answer for people who did not have hope right. yeah. with yeah. all of this going yeah. on that they can turn on our program or whatever the case may be. Yeah. So we had the wind behind us. We had a level of grace and mercy yeah. behind yeah. us yeah. and yeah. all of that. We, we were, we, we got, we got a, pretty good partner in our team. Yes. Mark, you can jump in here too. I know God's doing some great things. Yes, has he done is. some great yes. things. Well, you know, you guys were talking about slowing down and the, and the introspection and things and what that's really led me for this year. I'm going to flip it a little bit. I'm very thankful for how God loves me. Yes. And I feel that more now than ever. And yeah. I've got to give you credit for a lot of that, Pastor. I've always had very deep faith. But the understanding that you've given yeah. me over the years, the teaching that you give me mm -hmm. and the understanding and how he loves and why he loves. And, yeah. and it's just, it's mm -hmm. it's increased the depth of how I feel. Mm -hmm. So I really feel it inside. 
And that's really what's hit me this year. It's just incredible. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to cry here, Joel. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, I'm, I, I have goosebumps. But yeah. hey, <laughs> but that's the truth. And yeah. it's something that I'm really, really thankful for. So thank you for that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. you guys are awesome. Amen. How about Steve over there? Come on, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> hey, well, my, uh, my, my personal perspective would be um, uh, from an internal standpoint with me is uh, I'm thankful for the how peaceful my house is yeah, yeah man that uh, you know <clears throat> Keisha is always telling me you should go out with the guys awake a month it's okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah even she's trying to get rid of me for <laughs> <laughs> or she, you know, she she thinks that 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 I will uh, uh, you know, that'll lift my spirits or something like that or if I'm done but uh, I really am a homebody mm-hmm. yeah. and uh, and uh, this is kind of a love letter to this woman right here but she she really makes our house peaceful Aww. and she supports me and uh, uh, you know even with the little one running around mm-hmm. I have I have two uber personalities <laughs> no, no. Three, three counting our dog <laughs> and uh <clears throat> and so you know personality wise i get swept under the rug <laughs> but it's not about me at all but yeah when i come home it is it's a it's a house full of peace and love Amen. Oh, that's and good. that's uh, largely part due to her and uh, the love and peace that she Amen. Uh, exudes That's from good. herself, Amen. and uh, and that largely comes from you folks here too, because you you are family, mm-hmm. uh, in, in so many ways, mm-hmm. and uh, you inspire her, and she inspires me, and that uh, that all feeds on itself, awesome. and so that's that's, right. that's what I'm really truly thankful for that the, the strength of her faith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, in the Lord and, and don't make me cry and you guys, <laughs> um, this is my moment here baby <laughs> don't you that's the personality that's the personality let him have his time I'm but sorry the, uh, the, but, but that strength that, uh, that you guys uh, so much to such a large degree uh, uh, feed into her in that way, and that's awesome. what I'm thankful for. Awesome. Awesome. Can I have a turn? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you may. It's jump, okay. jump in there. Yes. So we had the baby, okay, uh-huh. and then we left. Yeah. Right. Uh, if those who don't know, Jane and I relocated Virginia for the whole summer. Yeah. And what it what it did is that I realized that. You know, you take the house away, you take your close friends, you leave them away, and at the end of the day, you have God and your wife. Mm. And the the amount of love that is created when you get stuck in a studio apartment in downtown Virginia <laughs> with nothing else but a crying baby, yeah. you, like that's your person. Yeah. Right. You know, and if if you guys you can't go anywhere else so you have to go to the Lord yeah. and have faith that everything's yeah. going to be alright and yeah. then mm-hmm. you know my wife is just incredible awesome. mm-hmm. and I'm so thankful for Aww. you sweetheart Aww. 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 come on husbands come on husbands <laughs> my wife is awesome too she's so amazing I was thinking where's mine she's giving me four beautiful <laughs> children <laughs> she's amazing what camera am I at? She's amazing. She's amazing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she's so good. It. Yeah. You wow. know, it's so easy to take life for granted. Mm-hmm. And I love being intentional about Thanksgiving. Yeah. Yeah. One of the yeah. things I love about the Wednesday night right before Thanksgiving is we intentionally stop. We ought to do it all year long, though. Yeah. Right. But we intentionally stop and we just take time to say, I'm thankful. I look around the room and could start on each one. Uh, Teresa's been a blessing to us this Amen. year. She's always been a blessing. Yeah. But Teresa, she is behind the scenes and she never comes out and says, I need some public attention for what I do. <laughs> but behind the scenes, a lot of what happens at Enjoy Church yes. as we get better yes. through the years has been a result of yes. Teresa's work. Yes. And Mark, 
Mark yeah. warned me about that when we first <laughs> brought you on staff. Yes, amen. Mark said, you just brought a gem yes. to the table. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, I thought, I said, are you sure you really want to do that? <laughs> I think he said a rock. <laughs> There's a gym inside oh, that. Yes. 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 Let me let me brag on Teresa for a second. <laughs> well, because and I think everybody around here, Eric, Joel, Zach, Lonnie, she's like the Keisha. that oh I'm sorry, Keisha. <laughs> <laughs> Staff members, I'm sorry. Yeah. But uh she she's the person that you can go to and she will talk you down off the Mama she's the mom. Mama, Mama team. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. And she'll okay. tap you on the butt a couple of times. Yeah. She'll give you about yeah. five minutes of that. But then she can like, okay, come on. Get it together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I've quit several times. <laughs> but I walked across the hall. Right. <laughs> She's like, and when you're done, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> so, I, yeah, she is a rock. She is a rock. She's that now, rock. Hey, now, maybe it sounds like everybody's perfect, but we're not. No. no. Oh, no. no. But here's what... Here's what I know. When you commit, and this is the part of the second part of our vision, is the unity part. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Love's number one because we love each other. Love does no wrong. Love covers over right. a multitude right. of sins. Right. Love yeah. makes a way. Yes. And then you put unity with that. Man, yes. that's right. what makes this team great. Absolutely. And so, you know, just right here in this room, and I, and I always hate to do this because... I'm I'm a guy that wants to bring everybody to the party. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. But you know, I look around the room and the guys behind the cameras and yeah. at the sound. Yeah. You know, Eric is doing this, but Eric has done so much here at the church. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Eric is uh he's just a key player on the team. Zach is behind the camera. Zach's the same way, works yes. a ton of hours yes. editing videos, yes. doing graphics. And then you've got Lonnie in there. I always say this about Lonnie. Lonnie's the guy that if I said, Lonnie, there's 10 men that are wanting to fight me in the alley tonight <laughs> at 3.30 in the morning. Yep. Lonnie said, don't well, don't worry about it. I'll be there with you. Yeah, right. <laughs> Lonnie's just that guy. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and we all have our strengths. strengths. We all have our weaknesses. Yes. But we cover for one another yes. and compensate. That I'm grateful for, and yes. that I'm mm-hmm. so thankful for. Yes. Amen. 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 I love it that we, you know, when you love one another, you have unity. Really, it's a sign of maturity. Yes. Immaturity will always look for the negative or Mm -hmm. the flaws. But when you're mature, you realize, hey, I'm flawed. Yes. And, you know, everybody's flawed, but we focus on the strength. We focus on what Jesus sees in one another. You know, we see Christ in each other. Yes. And we all have strengths, and that's what makes it work. And there's room for many, many more, Absolutely. you know. Yeah. So for all of you that are out there, yeah. um, every, all of our church family, you all have gifts. You all have strengths yes. that God wants to use. Yes. And, you know, some people will say, well, I can't do that because of this. Don't worry about because of this. Right. <laughs> right. Just get in there and, yeah. and serve and love and um, get excited about Jesus yes. uh, because he has Great plans for all of us. Yes. Yeah. I'm excited we've, we've, about it. We preached a series about the table yeah. and what it represents. Mm-hmm. And it all came from, we were at Tucker's over on Manchester yeah. Road several years ago, Tucker's Steakhouse. And we were doing a fellowship like this yeah. with several of our church family members, yeah. leaders. And there was a guy at a table behind us by himself. Yeah. And as, the, as we laughed... As we told stories, he began to turn his chair. <laughs> and by the end of the evening, it would be right where, Charnette, right where you are. We intentionally, because we could see him turning, yeah. we scooted down. Yeah. He bellied up to our table. Total stranger. Total stranger. Yeah. Didn't say anything, just listening. Yeah. Until he came to his senses. And he realized. What have I done? Yeah. And. He ran. He ran. He ran. And we we tried to, we were like, where did he go? And by the time we got out to the parking lot, he... But but that's a symbol of what our church should be to people. We're a table that we should be, the reason we call it Enjoy Church is because we ought to be enjoying life intentionally. And we ought to be so winsome, attractive, and appealing to To the world. And, And see, here's what it was. 
we, I didn't sense that he was a believer, that he, he was so intrigued with the love, the laughter, the stories, the, the kindness, the conversation that we were having with one another. Mm -hmm. And the world is starving for the love of God. Yeah. And so what he was experiencing in our presence was the love of God. Yes. And so he wanted more of it, so he kept scoop, yeah. scooping yeah. closer to the yeah. table. Yeah. Um, yeah. But that's really the way our lives should be, yeah, that we yes. should be a reflection of the love of Christ, and people want, want what we have. Yes. My daughter-in-law, Lily, you haven't had a time to say yeah. anything yet. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm thankful for you. We're thankful for you yes. because you've been a great addition to our family. Yes. We love your personality and you give the best haircut. <laughs> and yes, you do. I would be completely gray <laughs> if it wasn't for without yes. Lily. Yeah. You got to flash, so flash your information up on the <laughs> You can contact her at. <laughs> so yes, tell so us what you're, what you're thankful for. I'm really thankful for family and for our new baby. Yes. And even though it's been a lot of pressure this year, the pressure has made me stronger. Yes. Yes. And it's really grown me and made us closer. I'm going to cry too. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> I get it from him. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I'm awesome. grateful. I'm excited to see what she does in the world, too. Yes. Yeah. 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 Alora. <laughs> I love that. Alora yeah. Dream. Alora Dream. I love that. Yeah. Yes. yeah. So the word Alora means dream. Mm -hmm. Her middle name is Dream, so she's really Dream Dream. Dream Dream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dream Girl. Yeah. yeah. Dream, dream Girl. girl. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh -oh. Well, as you were speaking, I just wanted to tag on to this. This is something that my, my family experienced when we first came to enjoy church. And I hear it all the time of how much, we, how loving our church is, right. yeah. you know, when yeah. we came in. And we, same thing, you know, a couple of weeks after I was there, this young lady over here, it says my name. And I'm like, how she know my name? <laughs> how she know my name? She you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. She does. <laughs> so we do call her Google. But, <laughs> but our church is just a loving church. Yeah. And I always tell people, um, if I'm talking to someone or I'm witness to someone, I'm like, we're not a perfect church, but we're the perfect church for imperfect people. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? And so yeah, we good. love... Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. Trademark. T-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> you know, tweet that. But, <laughs> but no, I mean... You know, a lot of churches, there's a lot of churches out here, you know, just wanting people or just wanting you, whatever the case may be. But that, I have never found that to be enjoy church. Yeah. Always been loving, always been right. accepting. If you wanted to come in and do whatever, you can do that here. Yeah. You know I what I'm saying? I got a point to make about that. Yep. Jenny and I met Pastor Ryan at the New Here class. Mm -hmm. Like oh, four years ago. So, yeah. yeah, and Teresa, because Ryan kept interrupting you. That's not right at all. <laughs> but for, for those, those of you who are watching this, and you might, you know, maybe you haven't gotten plugged in yet. I mean, this That's table good, is yeah. plenty big for any heathen that I may or may not have. <laughs> still working on it. Yeah. But everybody's yeah. welcome here. And mm -hmm. the staff and our friends and everyone we've met here has just been incredible to us. We okay. thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Family, family, right. Family. Yeah. right. We've, family. Become, We've family. become family. Yeah. Yes. That is a great testimony because it's the family of choice yeah. mm -hmm. that really is powerful. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Because... We've talked about this. We choose you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, We choose you. In many ways, we're closer than blood family. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. and so yeah. it's the family we choose. Yes. Yeah. 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 So one of the things I wanted to bring up is, you know, your teaching and how open and forgiving and welcoming we are, you know, and, and you had the story, I believe it was Frank, right? Yes. And, but you say, you know, we really don't care how you dress, just please do. <laughs> so I immediately go out that Sunday afternoon and run to the farm and home and buy a brand new pair of dress bibs. And I bring those home and I said, he said we can wear whatever we want. Has anyone ever seen me show up at church in those dress bibs? Not yet. So I'll let you. <laughs> no. And I said, it's okay with pastors. It's okay. But it's not okay with her. <laughs> right. Right. I think that doesn't apply her. to anyone else, but it definitely applies to me. <laughs> I don't know which point was exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's the inclusion. Well, I think nobody's oh, going to be mean bids. to me. <laughs> Everybody's going to be happy to see me just like any other time, <laughs> right. except for this one. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> if he comes to church in those bibs, he's got to stay at the church. <laughs> I guess I could sit on the other side. Right. Right. That sounds like a fundraiser day. Okay, so yeah. 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 Bib day. I want to see what his bibs look like. Right. Right. Okay. 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 Take yes. a picture. I'm in. I want to see the bibs. I've even got <laughs> jammed. <laughs> I want to see. Oh I'll get you a good one. I want to see the bibs. Yeah. Hey, it's this is true. Statement. This is a true story. I don't know if you guys or you guys with us tonight. But when I was a kid, one of the things that I loved, we would have what was called Old Fashioned Sunday oh. every year at mm. church. People looked forward to it because they would come to church that Sunday wearing their bib overalls and <laughs> straw hats and wow. corn cob hats oh. once a year. You can wear the best. Best. <laughs> I don't know that day. The, right. <laughs> Let's not know that day. <laughs> the only bad part was the... Yeah. The visitors that came. <laughs> they were like, yeah, the first time visitors that would come on that day yeah. would look like, oh my God. are crazy. <laughs> yeah. It's on February 30th. <laughs> yeah, yeah right. good. good. <laughs> Pastor Ryan just a minute ago said, we aren't a perfect church, yeah. but we are the perfect place for imperfect people. Mm -hmm. And if we look at, you know, the internet and social media, everybody is trying to portray this perfect mm -hmm. life, mm -hmm. but right. perfection, perfection is not attainable. Mm -hmm. um, and it's unrealistic and people, as much as, you know, the world tries to appear as a perfect place, mm. that's not realistic mm -hmm. for right. us. It's right. not realistic yeah. for us. And I think that it is so very important for us all to remember Jesus Christ died for us because we are never going to be perfect. Mm -hmm. yes. And so, you know, anybody who's watching today or listening, maybe months down the road, like this is a place that you can come and know that you're going to be loved mm -hmm. yeah. regardless of where you think you are on the perfection or imperfection scale. Yeah. And I love our family here, yes. our church family, Amen. because we know that, we aren't those people, but we are all striving together yeah. to be the best we can be and the best that God has called us to be. Amen. 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 Hey, I just want to pray for you guys right now. I want to pray that God just gives you, as we go out of this year, November and December, yeah. these next yeah. couple of months, that God just really does something incredible yes. for you. Okay, yes. let me pray with you and for you. Father, we just pray for everyone this Thanksgiving Eve, this Wednesday night. Lord, we just ask you to envelop your people with love. Uh, give them more hope and more encouragement than they've ever had before. Going into a new year, 2021 is going to be a year of great blessing. I declare that over you. I prophesy that over you. I declare that the Holy Spirit's going to invade your life like never before. You're going to have visitation from God and from angels. And I speak blessing over you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.